For developing Mortal Kombat for the PlayStation Vita, we really wanted to make sure that the experience was enhanced. And by doing a reimagining for the PlayStation Vita, we wanted to make sure that we brought all of the elements that made the console such a success over to the PlayStation Vita and take advantage of the features for the Vita as well. One fun thing that I found as a designer was we have all these new PlayStation functionalities that we can use. How can we put them into the Mortal Kombat universe? So with the touch screen, that one came in really handy for us because of the fact that we can make missiles come down from the sky, you could balance and juggle people in the air, you could shake the Vita to distort the world, or you can rapidly tap the screen, you can tap the screen in multiple areas to try and complete a challenge. There's no set way to necessarily do any one of the challenges. It's all based on how you think you can get through it. We started off doing about 50 missions additional for the new tower, and then it went to 75, and as we were like starting to mess with the Vita, we really get, took advantage of it, like, wow, we gotta do this, we gotta try this, and we got a lot of extra. We ended up being 100, then 125, and we're like, might as well just do 150. There are missions ranging from using the, the touchscreen to perform fatalities, to shaking the PlayStation Vita to release buffs for, for your players as well. We added uh, you know, 16 new costumes um, for the Vita. It's, uh, it's really exciting. A lot of the classic character costumes the players have been asking for. We have uh, alternate costumes for the DLC characters that haven't been seen before. And uh, we have a lot of the retro costumes, which were very well received by the Mortal Kombat community. I think uh, with the whole uh, reimagining and reboot factor of the Mortal Kombat console game, we were able to kind of take that and transfer it over to the Vita by creating even more of the retro flavor costume for both the male ninjas and the female ninjas as well. And it's, it's really cool to see like MK2 Ermac in the game as well. We think the fans are really gonna uh, appreciate that kind of stuff. Foreign players are gonna really like the fact that they can, you know, it's, it's, it's their exact combos that they're gonna practice. So if they have their combos they wanna get down, they can be in the back seat of the car on a bus going to work and they be able to like really practice their hardcore combos. The camera functionality in Mortal Kombat is actually a, a pretty funny story. We had released a trailer it had a few scenes of Scorpion and Sub-Zero kind of fighting in the street, fighting in an office building, fighting at the skate park, which was my favorite part of it. The internet was very, very adamant about saying, hey, wouldn't that be awesome if that was actually in the game? So our programming team uh, took that challenge upon themselves and tried to implement uh, camera functionality, which wasn't originally planned in the first place, but we actually listened to the fans and we saw that this was a feature that the fan base really, really wanted. So if you actually pay attention, the birds that fly by are the original uh, sprites and birds from MK2, so that was a really cool Easter egg that we were kind of ready to throw back in the game and, and get people really excited about.